It was a tragedy that sparked the Rwandan genocide. On April 6, 1994, the plane carrying President Juvenal Javier Romana, a moderate Hutu, was shot down just before it was due to land in Kigali. Within hours, mass ethnic killings erupted across the country, targeting members of the Tutsi minority and moderate Hutus. When it was all over, a hundred days later, 800,000 people were slaughtered in the last genocide of the 20th century. The crew of the downed presidential Falcon was French, and it was France which four years later launched an investigation into the crash following a request from families of the plane crew. In 2006, the first judge assigned to the case, that's Jean-Louis Procure, accused the Rwandan Patriotic Front, led in 1994 by the current Rwandan president, Paul Kagame, of bringing down the plane. Brugier issued arrest warrants against nine members of the RPF. The move prompted the severing of diplomatic ties between Paris and Kigali, only restored three years later. For Rwanda, the case was politically motivated. Kigali accused France of trying to cover up its own alleged complicity in the Rwandan genocide, a charge France has consistently denied. In 2012, a new judge, Marc Trevedic, visited the crash site with a team of experts. In his final report, he concluded the missile that brought Habir Romana's plane down could have been from an army barracks used by the Hutu president's guards. Rwandan authorities of the time welcomed this new hypothesis. We've been waiting 17 years for this news. 17 years of suspicions, manipulations, incriminations, campaigns aimed at destabilizing the government. We can't say it loudly enough. This news comes as a relief. In December 2017, French anti-terrorist judges said they were closing the case, paving the way for the Paris prosecutor to recommend that the charges be dropped, citing insufficient evidence against the suspects. French judges have now rejected the request to reopen the investigation. A court in Turkey is trying 27.